ever wonder how a Hawaii street got its name or maybe the origins of a particular plant you see growing in your backyard? Well, every Thursday we have our Aloha Authentic segment to bring awareness to a Hawaii's culture. Here now is Kamakapili with this week's segment. Aloha mai, it's Kamakapili. Now, some of our street names gets its name from the land and the area that they reside in. For example, this road right here is known as Kailua Road. And it captures its name from this beautiful Ahu Pua'a we stand in, known as Kailua, here on the east side of Oahu. Kai talks about the salt water or our oceans. Lua is short for the word Elua, which is the number two. And that refers to the two bodies of water that reside here, one being Kawai Nui and the other being Kaelepulu. Now the world knows about Kailua, and a big portion of that is because of Lanikai Beach, which, FYI, is a made-up name. The traditional name of Lanikai is Ka'ohao. But what the world probably doesn't know is that history shares it's believed that the first wave of Hawaiians to settle here in our beautiful islands had settled in places such as Kailua because the ecology between the mountains, the ocean, and everything that it takes to provide life, it was the best. So, did you know? Now you do. Wow. And I did, so I didn't know, Kamaka, that... Lanikai is a made-up name? Yes. Made up name. More from the developers. And Lanikai means, Lani refers to our heavens, Kai is the ocean. So how beautiful and, and heavenly the ocean was mm -hmm. or is. But a lot of people forget that the traditional name is Kauhau. Kauhau, okay. And then you had mentioned there that Hawaiians first settled in Kailua? Yes. Can you talk more about that? So reading some history books, it's believed that when the first Hawaiians had migrated to Hawaii from the ocean, they, they seen all of our islands and to them, Oahu looked the most lush to provide life, so they chose to come to Oahu. It is believed that they arrived in the Ahupua'a of Waimanalo, in where we know as Bellows Air Force Base now. Mm -hmm. That was the area where they kind of arrived on land, and settling through Waimanalo, through Kailua, to Kaneohe. And as mentioned in the video, how pristine the, the, the aina and the kai, the kai, the ocean was, how it was able, you know, providing all the elements to sustain life. And even Kaneohe Bay is referred to as one of the most pristine bays and waters throughout Hawaii. Today we don't see the lushness that it used to hold in, in our past, but Kaneohe Bay was known to have the, the most pristine marine mm -hmm. life that all of Hawaii had provided. Yeah, very beautiful, very. Um, do you have an idea to where the second settlement of Hawaiians yes. was? Yes, interesting enough, and the world knows this place as Waikiki, but the Ahupua of Manoa, which mm -hmm. Waikiki falls under, is the most relatable to our, uh, the, the lands of Waimanalo, Kailua, and Kaneohe. So it was believed from after settling on the east side of Oahu, they moved around the south point of our island and they found Waikiki. And that became to be known as the second settlement. Second settlement, interesting. Uh, going back to the first settlement, Kailua, anything else that you can tell us about that we might oh, yeah. not know? My mom, interesting story. My mom is born and raised on Kailua Beach, which we know as Kailua Beach now. Mm -hmm. So around the pavilion, she uh, shared a story where her neighbor used to be a taxi cab driver for what was known as Coconut Grove Taxi. And I guess he was known as Grandpa Pipi, I guess a lot of people knew him. When he passed, they buried his taxi cab in his yard. So <laughs> till this day, there is a buried taxi cab in Kailua Beach Park someplace. So I, the first thing I asked is, did they bury him in the cab with, <laughs> when he passed? Like, no, 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 just the just cab. Just the vehicle, just the right? Vehicle. Okay, so, so somewhere Kailua Beach. in Kailua, there's a cab underneath your feet. <laughs> That's an interesting little tidbit. <laughs> okay, next week you'll be back, and yes. what we'll be talking about. So we'll be moving down into the Ahupua of Manoa, talking about Alawai. Trying to touch upon a lot of the more commonly known streets that we know of. And I've always been putting it out there, if a lot of people, you know, you're interested in, f in knowing some information about a, a familiar street to you, please reach out to us, kamakapili at alohaauthentic.org or alohaauthentic.org on the website. So you might go to their street yes. to find out the origin and talk about what it all means, yes. right? It's interesting. Gives me the opportunity to learn as well. <laughs> yeah, and go all across, all across the island, of course. Yes. Okay. Say that email again. Kamakapili at alohaauthentic.org. All right. There you go. Thank you so much, Kamaka, for joining us again. Aloha.